some situations force you to take vertical or portrait videos or photos. When you bring them into iMovie, you end up with irritating black bands on the sides. In this video, I'll show you how to professionally blur your photo or video as a background to get rid of the dreaded black bars. I'll show you how to deal with four different situations. If you know which one you are interested in, you can skip directly to that section of the video. In our first and simplest scenario, we have a vertical photo stored in the Mac Photos app. Here's an example of what we'll end up with. In this case, I use the Ken Burns effect on the foreground. First, locate the photo in the Videos app. If you click on Info, the vertical aspect ratio will show up in its resolution. Select File, Export, Export One Photo. This will bring up a dialog that allows you to select the export size. We'll use Custom and set the width to 64 pixels. Click Export or type Return. This will bring up a dialog box for where to export to. We'll put the result on the desktop. OK. Our 64 pixel wide photo appears on the desktop. We'll drag it into iMovie onto the timeline. When you do this, iMovie will interpolate the photo up to the resolution of your video. Now we'll overlay the high-res clip on top of it. Select Photos from the Libraries, click on our photo, and drag it down into the timeline on top of the low-res version. Now, up in the Overlay menu, we'll change the mode from Cutaway to Picture-in-Picture. Picture. We'll move and stretch the Picture-in-Picture Picture window so it's centered and takes up the full height of the frame. We're only getting part of our image, so select the Crop tool and set it to Fit. A little tweak of the centering and we're good to go. Click on the check mark icon to complete the overlay editing. When we play it back, we have a nice blurred background. The background defaults to a Ken Burns effect, but that can be turned off by selecting the cropping of the background to fit as well. In our next scenario, the photo is already in iMovie or in the Finder, not in the Photos app. If it's in iMovie, select the clip and then share to image. All right, we have our photo on the desktop now, but if your photo is already in the Finder, you can skip the iMovie export we just did. Double-click on the photo to bring it up in the Preview app. Then select Tools, Adjust Size. We'll select a width of 64 again, but there's nothing magic about that dimension. You should play around a bit with different image sizes to see what looks good to you. Then click on OK. Our photo now looks a lot smaller, and we'll select File Save. Then dismiss the preview window. I'll slide the timeline over to where I want to place the clip and drag it onto the timeline. Once again, we'll drag the high-res image on top to create an overlay. Repeat the change to picture-in-picture, picture, center the inset in the frame, and change the cropping of the high-res image to fit so it doesn't move around. Voila! There we have it! Next, I'll show you how to do this with a video clip. First, we'll use a single frame from the video so the background won't move, which is an easier process than a blurred moving background. Here's an example of what we'll end up with. The background is a still image, but it moves a bit with a subtle Ken Burns effect. I'll show how to do this with the clip in the Mac Photos app, but if it's already in iMovie or the Finder, just follow the process shown in the previous section to make the low-res background. Position the cursor to the frame you want to use, then select the gear icon and export frame to pictures. Double-click on the picture to bring it up in the Preview app. As before, Adjust the width to 64 pixels,
then do a file save. Drag the low res image from the finder into the timeline. Then retrieve the video from the Photos app and drag it onto the overlay level above the low res image. Now stretch the low res still image to be the same length as the video. The Ken Burns effect gives the feeling of motion, and that may be realistic enough for you. As we'll see in the next section, making a low res version of a video is more involved and requires use of a third party app. Here's an example of what we can do with a blurred video background. As with a photo, we can decide whether or not we want to use the Ken Burns effect to pan vertically. None of the apps that come standard with a Mac can make a low res version of a video clip. I'll show you how to use VLC to do this, but I've used Handbrake as well, and both are free and work equally well. You will need to download a copy of one of these apps from the web. Bring up VLC, and we'll use the File Convert to Stream function. That will bring up a dialog box where you can drag your high-res video file into the drop space. Then select Customize Profile. In the dialog box that comes up, select the Video Codec tab. In that tab, we'll use a bitrate of 100,000. A frame rate of 30 and a width of 64 pixels. Then click on Apply. Then click on the Browse dialog box and select a file on the desktop as the destination and save. This first save just finalizes the destination file. Then you click Save again to start the conversion process. There's our fuzzy clip on the desktop, still with the vertical orientation. Let's drag that blurry video onto the timeline. Then drag our high-res video onto the overlay level on top of it. They should be about the same duration. The final step is to choose what portion of the blurry background to use with our clipping tools, and whether or not we want the moving Ken Burns effect. I personally like a non-moving background and find the Ken Burns effect with it distracting, but it's your choice. That's all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful in making professional looking videos that use vertical clips without the annoying black sidebands. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment, click like, or subscribe to my channel below. Thanks for watching.